Nostradamus most accurate prophecies. For a long time, mankind has lived through a series of large-scale events, many of which have been prophesied in the past, especially by the famous prophet Nostradamus. Therefore, we will focus on taking a little about this character and the prophecies that so far have been fulfilled and all those that could be fulfilled from the point of view of experts, making known what he wrote with reference to each event. In the year 1503, the future astrologer and doctor named Michel Nostradamus was born in France, a clairvoyant for some, a doomsayer for others. His main work was published in 1955 under the title The Prophecies of Mr. Michel Nostradamus, and his words have given rise to countless interpretations about the future of the world and humanity. Why did his work become so famous? What was so special about it that people believed in? Quite simply, many of his prophecies have come true. On the other hand, Nostradamus said that his works were books of prophecies that he had wanted to polish a bit obscurely. He himself recognized that his forecasters had an obscure and enigmatic air, until they became abstruse and perplexing sentences. He justified everything as a way for people to become aware of the heavenly truths he had received by special inspiration. In this way, he allowed his prognosis to be interpreted in different ways, and thus applied to the various events of the future. In fact, he explained that his divinatory technique was based on sitting in front of a tripod in front of which there was a glass container with water, until the prophetic inspiration came in the form of a luminous flame. Amazingly, Nostradamus has foretold several events that have been fulfilled during history until today. For this reason, we will indicate each of the best known events. Throughout his verses, Nostradamus frequently mentions various events related to the Führer Adolf Hitler and even incorporates anagrams such as Easter in his writing. In Quatrain 35 of the third century, he writes, From the deepest of the west of Europe, from poor people a child will be born, who by his tongue will seduce the masses, his fame in the kingdom of the east will grow the more. Thus, the national socialist leader was born in Austria and was the one who led Europe into World War II, being considered one of the most seductive and dangerous leaders in history. One of the most compelling prophecies was fulfilled in August 1945, when the United States dropped two atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, thus initiating the end of World War II. According to the interpretations made by the followers of Nostradamus in the Quatrain No. 6 of the 2nd century, we refers to this event. Near the gates and within two cities, there will be two scourges as never saw anything like it, famine within the plague, by the iron outside swan, ask for help to the great immortal god. In the second verse, he would refer to the two Japanese cities, while in the third, he would point out the hundreds of thousands of deaths caused by the attack and the subsequent victims. Nostradamus also made reference to the death of US President John F. Kennedy in 1963 and the subsequent assassination of his brother Robert Kennedy, who died after 1 o'clock in the morning. In the 26th quatrain of the 1st century, one can read the following. The great lightning falls by day, evil and foretold by postulated career, next omen falls by night, conflict in Reims, London, Bubonic et Tosca. In the 2nd century, Quatrain 75, Nostradamus wrote the following The voice heard from the unusual bird over the canyon of the breathing ground, so high shall the weight rise from the grain, that man's man shall be anthropophagous. Experts claim that Nostradamus predicted the tragedy of Uruguayan Air Force Flight 571, where 5 crew members and 40 passengers crashed in the ends maintained in Mendoza, Argentina on October 13, 1972. The passengers on the plane were members and players of the rugby team Old Christians from Uruguay, who were on their way to a friendly match in Santiago de Chile. It took 70 days before they could be rescued. In order to survive, they had to feed on the bodies of their teammates who had died at the time of the accident. Only 16 people survived the tragedy. 29 died, among them all the cabin crew. This unfortunate event occurred on September 11th. 
2001 in the United States. Nostradamus wrote in the Quatrain 97 of the 6th century the following. Five and forty degrees the sky will burn, fire approaching the great new city, instantly the great flame scattered will leap. Experts relate this word to the attacks against the Twin Towers in New York, considering that the astrologer refers precisely to New York as the great new city, and the numbers mentioned refer to the angle from which people could see those attacks. Pope John Paul I, elected in 1978, became Pope after a controversial election. He died 33 days after taking office and is believed to have been assassinated, due to the softness of his character at the head of the Vatican. In this context, Nostradamus points out in the Quatrain of the 12th, 10th century, elected Pope of the Elector will be mocked, suddenly, often excitedly disposed and timid, by too good and sweet to die provoked fear oppresses the night of his death guide. In fact, followers of Nostradamus claimed that he was murdered by poisoning during the night, for standing up and fighting the evil and corruption entrenched in the upper echelons of the Vatican, for too much of a good thing. Nowadays, with the advance of technology and each of the researches we carry out, we are able to know possible events that are already evident in the near future. Nostradamus wrote that after the invention of what he called a new engine, the world will be as in the days before Babel. In this way, it seemed that he had been speaking of a kind of universal translation machine. He claimed that this development would soon lead to the end of nations. Maybe this prophecy has already been fulfilled by the internet translators that millions of people use every day. What do you think? Nostradamus assures us that the event may begin as an earthquake, but in a very short time it will become evident that it is something much worse, a volcanic eruption, referring to the Yellowstone supervolcano. For some people, Yellowstone represents the most dangerous volcano in the world. It is located under Yellowstone National Park, between Wyoming, Idaho and Montana in the United States. In its last eruption, it is estimated that it expelled about a thousand cubic kilometers of rock and ash. Today, a constant seismic activity has been noted that could indicate a possible awakening. Let's hope this is not the case. Nostradamus assured in one of his prophecies that advances in telepathy will make it possible for people to talk to their pets and farm animals. This will result in an increase in vegetarianism. The astrologer wrote, pigs will become brothers to men. Professor Sobodzikov from the University of Northern Arizona, a specialist in animal behavior, assured that in the not too distant future, with the development of technology, the new generation of mobile devices will allow us to communicate with animals through sounds. Would it be great, right? Nostradamus spoke as a prophet of the Bible, who announced the greatest calamities in the world, with the aim of trying to restore people's faith in God. In this way, his purpose was to frighten by means of terrifying enigmas, so terrifying that they often could not be deciphered. In this way, he hoped that his readers would think twice about their own behavior and not get sucked into the spiral of violence, of the real world in which they lived. In addition, the prophecies showed the dangers that awaited mankind if it were to forget forever Christ's message of love and peace. For this very reason, it reflected in written form the terror of the catastrophes of a near and uncertain future, warning all Christians not to confront each other because of their differences, and to understand that it is better to keep their distance from all those who claim to know the world truth about the faith from those who are ready to tear themselves apart, to pursue ideals at the cost of any aberration and to kill their neighbor in the name of their own idea of God.